Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and by the end of this video you will understand how you can stop the losing cycle of trading and improve your trading for the long term without having these cycles of profitability, finding a different strategy because it doesn't work, going back around, having a little bit of profitability, doesn't work, find new strategy all the way around again. Uh, this is a common kind of cycle with traders and by the end of this video you will know how to combat that and what to do in the future. So if you're not subscribed here, if it's your first time here, welcome. Uh, trade Happy is a home for traders and a place where you can learn to trade stress-free. Uh, stress is a massive, massive killer of accounts um, and it damages you in terms of your mental well-being. So in terms of being able to trade stress-free is a massive, massive thing. Uh, if you agree with that, hit the subscribe button and make sure to let me know in the comments below how you've managed to deal with stress. I'm going to start doing a little bit of a, a different um, thing at the start of the videos. Uh, the question of the day. So this is where I'm basically just going to be asking you guys, you guys a question. It could be re related to anything, not just the video. And I want to see you guys put it in the comments below and let me know your answer is to the question. So today's question of the day is what is the best piece of advice you have ever been given? Now that can be inside or outside of trading. Put it in the comments below. Now, let's get to the video. So what is the first thing that you need to do to stop this, okay? Personally, I would say stop trading, okay? Stop live trading, whatever you're doing, and just put the work in. Okay, now what, what do I mean by put the work in? What I mean by this is you need to backtest. Write down your routines, risk management, trading plan, habits that you want to kind of build, trading tips, put the work in that might not be, you know, the trading lifestyle that you've seen on Instagram. You won't be putting this up on Instagram. It's not fancy. It's not clever. It's just putting the work in that everyone has to do, right? You have to go through this process. You have to put the work in to understand what is best for you. And at the moment, you're going around in a cycle where you can't control what you're doing. Your emotions are controlling you. So we need to remove those emotions as much as we can. And you do that by doing the work that I just mentioned. Back testing, writing a plan out, following routines, being disciplined and, and being patient through that process of learning. The, the kind of second point I want to make is your trading should be boring, right? It should be really, really boring. If it's not boring, then how can you make it so it is boring? Because it, you, you should be following the same process every single day and that does get boring right that does get boring but boring doesn't look good on social media so you need to choose what you want do you want to look good or do you want to make money because there is a big big difference one is being fake and you know showing pictures of your charts and all that kind of stuff showing how many pips you've made for example um versus the other one you know, doing your own thing and just trading. And it is incredibly boring, right? You need to choose which one you want. Both are fine, right? Both are fine. But you need to choose which one because you can't be both. Maybe you can be both. I don't know anyone that is. I'm just saying for now, where you are with your trading journey, if you are going through that cycle of um, finding a strategy, trading it, and then disowning it, um, you need to kind of decide, do I want to take this seriously or do I want to keep going around in circles and, and doing what I'm doing? Whichever one, you whichever one you choose, you can then decide what kind of trader you want to be, how you want to trade, and you can go through that process of improving and stopping that kind of process of going around in circles. Um, so once you've chosen, the next kind of step that I would say is to just write it down. We have loads of videos on the channel about trading plans. Watch one of them and go through that process. You, after that video, I'll link it actually up here or here. Um, you will then know what you need to do from this point onwards and after you've built that trading plan. So have an amazing day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, put it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Remember that the question of the day is, what is the best piece of advice you have ever been given inside or outside of trading? Have an amazing day. 
And remember traders, trade happy.